Now, after my little moment of stupidity, your cube should now be scrambled. The scrambled state is where every piece is in a random position due to your liking. Whether you scrambled it like this, or you scrambled it like this. Either is fine, as long as it's jumbled up and you can't solve it in four to five moves. Because if you do, you're just a cheater. Okay, now we're going to actually get into solving this piece. First, you just want to solve the centers, and that's going to be the first step in solving the 5x5. Five five. Okay, what you want to do is you just want to look around your cube. Well, I guess we're going to solve blue first. So you'll find a blue center, and you want to get a stripe, a three, like one, two, three, going across the center. You just look around the cube. There, there's one. Just look around your cube and find one piece that will fit in this little section of the middle. So what you want to do is just move the cube around so you get this blue stripe in the middle. Well, your cube isn't going to be exactly set up the same way mine is, so you're just going to have to tinker around with it and get this center stripe. Alright, after you find the center stripe, what you want to do is you want to get these edges. These three and these three. The center edges, whatever you want to call them. So you want to look around, and you want to get a two pair like this, like these two, and then you want to find something that can just slide in there to create a three, and you can just rotate it up. And now I have a six, a pair of six, three, two, three twos, two, threes, whatever you want to call it. So you just want to move the cube around to orientate all of the blues to one central location via right here. Now that you've got one completed blue side, what you want to do is you want to put the blue on the bottom. And now, can you guess what side we're going to solve? Can you? Can you? Top. We're going to be solving this center. So what you want to do is do the exact same thing you did with the blue. Now let me show you, this is probably going to be the first algorithm that you're going to learn, is getting a piece from in this second, this middle layer right here, we put on the bottom, to the top, without messing this up. So what you want to do is find the piece, like just for example, this piece, this one, this piece, and I want to get it right here, in this top layer. So what I want to do is I just want to do this algorithm. You just want to, well, I guess, before I go into doing this, it's not an algorithm, it's kind of common sense. So what you want to do is you want to move it up and see how that got the blue out of line. You just want to rotate it over. So now when I rotate the blue back, I still have my green stripe. Okay. After you get your green stripe on top, you want to get the middle layer filled with threes, like this. I'll just give you a quick one, like that you have a pair of three. And what you want to do is just continuously bring them up and rotate the top around so you don't mess up the blue and you don't mess up your green. And you want to just keep doing that until you get the entire green layer. But once you get... Hold on. Give me a sec. Once you get the green... A six pair of green and you have the final... I guess... The final three pair that you want to get up here. What you want to do is have the six on the right side or the left side, whichever one you want. And if it's on the left side, you want the three pair on the left side also. So what you want to do is have this on the left side or the right side, whichever one you like, and you just rotate it up. And you, you're thinking, probably thinking, how am I going to bring this, this, back over here and complete it? All you do is rotate the top over twice and the blue should just line itself back up and you have the green and the blue side. After you get your adorable green side and your adorable blue side, you can start working on these other centers. What you want to do is you want to do pretty much the same thing you did for the top and the bottom. You want to create threes. Like, uh, let me just give you a quick example. And just... Uh, there. There's a three pair. And every time you get a three pair, what you want to do is put it on the bottom, like the bottom of the center, like this. 
so that way when you rotate these top two layers any way you like it's not going to mess this up so you just want to look around and you just want to look for pieces that you could just rotate right into slots like right here just put it on the bottom and you just want to do that till you get the entire bottom layer filled with three pairs, pairs of three, whatever you want to call it now that I have my entire bottom layer of the middle completely filled with pairs of three here, 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 and here you want to get the other two layers you're probably thinking this is going to be pretty hard because you know you don't want to mess this up well actually it's not as hard as it looks but it, yeah it's hard so what you want to do is find one color that you would that you think is the easiest to solve for me it's white because I already have two white pairs here and I have this and that so I can just go ahead and get it in place so what you want to do is forget about the other pairs because once you get all of the bottom layers they're just going to be perfectly fine when you're rotating the cube around so first you want to just get these pairs make pairs of three and complete one center of any color you would like so for me I chose white and you have the green and the blue salt so that's three after you get your color that you have chosen you just want to look around and find another side that you think would be easy preferably the side that's next to the white for me it would be red and purple for you it might be different colors like orange and yellow or white or whatever you whatever you want so just find the color that I guess well, I'm going to do to the right so I'm just going to solve a three pair of purple which I already have right here and you want to use the same hold on yeah to get this purple with its purple center you want to just use the exact same method algorithm that you used earlier rotate it up rotate it over so it doesn't get pulled back and just push it back down that leaves your white unmessed up or untouched whatever you like and then you just can use that like in this example get this pink purple pink whatever up here rotate it over rotate it back and just put it back down and nothing is messed up just keep using that until you get a pair uh, another pair of three and then just slide that pair of three over into your purple slot and you should end up with H this H H after you get that H I'll show you what you're going to do next you're going to want to get the other two edges centers of the center into there so you want to just get rid of these other two three pairs 